Okay, here we are. We're gonna start with chest. Chest is great, again, for a man. Helps you look thicker, broader. Women love it, come on guys. And of course, you know, it gives you that overall fullness, you know, for your chest, you know. So I'm gonna show you a couple of chest exercises that are very important. Not the common one, not the bench press, not the, uh, you know, dumbbell press, you know, where you guys wanna go so heavy. These are the simplest ones, again, that can do the most for your chest. Again, these are great for women as well. Helps you pick up your breast right up top. I like working up the upper pec, okay? I'm gonna show you the dumbbell flies. Very important exercise. I would have to say difficulty level, it's about 50%, only because uh, most people still don't do it right. Okay, so dumbbell flies, again, you kind of simulate as if you were flying, you know, you want to kind of flap like a bird flies his wings, okay? So you want to do this, and at the same time, another idea you can put in your head, it's like you're trying to hug somebody, you know, you want to hug. It's always in a circular motion, you know? Now, why, why am I saying this? Because when people do the flies, they're actually doing presses. And when sometimes they want to do presses, they're doing flies. I'll show you the two different ones, okay? First, I'm going to show you presses. Easy press. See how my elbow drops? My elbow goes down. These are the presses. Elbows are down, presses. Elbows are down. Now, I'm gonna show you the flies. Pay attention, my elbow does not, of course it's gonna be in motion, but it won't drop, okay? Start off up top, as you go down, flies, that's as low as you can go right there, you know? You don't wanna drop your elbow, you wanna keep it here, okay? See the difference? Again, my elbows are not dropping. When it starts going heavier, most people will start doing this. They start doing this. And again, and that turns into a fly, uh, into a dumbbell press. You don't want to take away from it. What's great, again, about this exercise, it gives you that overall fullness on your chest. It's gonna work, right? The roundness over here, and also the clavicle. It's gonna work the clavicle, and it gives you that thickness right on your upper pecs, all right? Another exercise for chest we're gonna perform. Um, I will have to say this one, many people kinda got tired of doing it. It's been around for a long time, but it's very effective, again, to give you that overall fullness of your chest. Again, you already know barbell press, you know dumbbell press. This is one that I'm using only because it's been neglected and we're gonna do it here today. This one is the dumbbell pullover. I will do it on a side profile because you can get an idea of basically the form I'm doing it in. Okay, on this one, it's gonna be your arch. Your arch is the key position into doing this exercise. Your shoulders will be directly on the bench. All right? You can do it on your own, hand over your, the dumbbell, or somebody can pass the dumbbell to you. Okay? So, if you notice where my butt is. My butt is down here. It's like a squat position, you know? I'm not like this, but it's something else. I don't know what it is, okay? Right now, again, this is where I'm at, and this is where my shoulder is. My shoulder is right on the bench, okay? Hey. 
head back, shoulders on. As you go down, you should be feeling all the pressure on your chest. That's it. And squeeze at the top. Okay, slight movement. Squeeze at the top. Now, what happens if I go any further back? You're working a different body part. Now you go down here. You want to work your chest. Again. Breathing. The breathing is very important, okay? So, you always want to inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Why inhale, exhale? Because that brings up your rib cage. This exercise is primarily for your chest and, of course, opening up that rib cage. You want to be able to take that chest out when you're doing a side pose, you know. If, if, this is if you're doing bodybuilding. You want to be able to really lift up that rib cage. So this is very important. Women can do this too. It helps with their breasts at the same time, and it helps with keeping that nice slim waist, okay? So we're going to move on now. Uh, we did chest. Any other secret that I, I could show you for chest? Um, you know what? Let's go to the cable crossovers. Cable crossovers, uh, again, People still doing wrong. But let's try and uh, get different areas that you can work out. Cable crossover is not only for the middle chest, it's also for upper and lower. Let's go. Okay, here I'm gonna start with the cable crossovers. Again, cable crossovers can be very tricky. They're cables. Most people just think you just grab them and just kind of yank them down and do them. It's not quite that easy. Again, if you want an effective result, from the muscle and body part you're training, okay? First, I'm gonna show you how to work the upper pec, the middle, middle and upper pec, right here, straight across, okay? I wanna go in the middle here. He's not gonna get the angle. Here we are, we're gonna do middle pec. Middle pec is very important. Now, mind you, this is a cable crossover, so you have no support on your back. You have no support. You can go back. You can stretch as much as you want. You know, it's freedom to do anything. But that is not the way you do the, the workout, okay? This is the correct way. You have to envision yourself. This body part right here does not move. The only thing that's moving is your arms. That's it your arms. You keep your torso nice and locked, chest out, and try to balance yourself with your feet, okay? Again, middle pec. One step forward, chest out, here you are. Don't wanna go back here, there's no point. It's right here, okay? And in. 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 It's like doing flat flies. Same simulation, different workload because it's not free weight. Right here. Make sure you squeeze. You got to get that squeeze right at the bottom, okay? You don't want to do this. You don't want to. Do that, it's just, you know, you don't wanna pull your body back, you know? Steady exercise, you lock in, you lock in, you're ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. The only moving parts is your arms. It's the only thing that moves, okay? And of course your chest that you're flexing, all right? Now we're gonna go on and do the lower pecs, lower pecs, sim slightly similar again, but in this one you stand more upright. 
All right? So the lower pec is right down here. This is what we're going to work, the roundness on your chest. This one, same thing. Your torso shouldn't be moving. Slight chest up. You don't have to go forward. Again, we work in lower pec. And this one is straight downward. So the position on this is going to be down here. Okay, not here, because here's for the middle pec. It's down here. And you don't need to go any higher. That's it, right there. Notice, chest is out, squeezing at the bottom. <sighs> Exhale at the positive. <sighs> you don't want to go any higher. You go here, your shoulders. Messing with your shoulders. You don't want to mess with your shoulders. Again, this is for chest. You do it the right way. It's a short movement. I know you feel like you can stretch more. You want to go higher. But you're taking away from the actual exercise, and we're also trying to avoid long-term injuries. No long-term injuries, okay? Exercising is supposed to be the fountain of youth, so let's keep it young, okay? Again, lower pec, right here. Right here. This is great. Now, Upper pec. Upper pec is fun. A lot of guys like doing it because they think it looks cool, but it's actually uh, very effective. And uh, it's a mean exercise. This one is more like you're scooping. You don't need to go that heavy. It's like you're scooping. Uh, Underhand. The underhand scoop, okay? Right here, again, position yourself as if you were doing middle pecs. Sometimes, or some people have good balance, they could use both their feet, okay? Now on this one, again, this is the starting point. Then the ending point, right there. Right there. You don't want to go any lower. You go here. Now you have to use your arms. You have to use your bicep. You don't want to have to always use your bicep. It is a secondary muscle, but it is for pecs. Short movement. Do a little extra, get a little pump, hold it to release. Great. We just finished doing chest. We did some shoulders. Now I think we should move on to some back. <laughs> 